Welcome to 74 and 74. We tell you what's coming up in our very own independent cinema here at Exeter Phoenix this week. We've got a mixed bag of goodies awaiting you. And we're going to start with Neptune Frost. So this film is unique. Uh, it's dreamlike and it's a visit into sci-fi punk. It's a musical. It's visually wondrous. It's an amalgamation of themes, ideas and songs. Um, and they're all brought together by multidisciplinary artist Saul Williams and Anicia Yuziman. Um, and this film takes place in the hilltops of Burundi, where a group of escaped miners attempt to take over a regime which are exploiting the region's national resources. It's terribly invigorating, it's really progressive, um, and it's got quite strong political undertones. But it's also quite a peaceful, calming experience with some emotionally driven songs uh, and, and performances. So check out our screening on Sunday, and we've got a post-screening conversation between Dr. Ensign Burton and Malcolm Richards of UE Book Bag and um, Exeter Decolonising Network. Um, you can also listen to the playlist of the songs, which we've linked to our website, so uh, that'll get you in the mood. Living opens on Friday. This stars Bill Nye as a veteran civil servant who's dedicated his life to service and forgotten how to have fun. Uh, we all know someone a bit like this, I think. Um, and after a medical diagnosis, he's inspired to move to the coast and cram as much fun as he can into his remaining days. So cue fun fairs, knickerbocker glories and joy. Uh, it's taken from the original story by Kazu Ishiguru, who uh, wrote Remains of the Day. Um, and Living brings a fresh perspective to this 1950s tale of one man making up for lost time. Our third instalment of our In Dreams and Monsters season, supported by the BFI, takes place with the 50th anniversary screening of Blackula. Uh, and this is in partnership with Abattoir Film Festival. Um, so Blackula was the first black quotation horror film and the first studio-backed horror film by a black director. It's set in the late 18th century, uh, where a prince travels from Africa to Transylvania, seeking out Count Dracula to help in ending the transatlantic slave trade. But instead of helping, Dracula condemns the prince to eternal life as a vampire. Thanks, Dracula. Way to go. Uh, so Blackula celebrates uh, Black Horror with the special event screening where we're satelliting in a Q&A with the director, William Crane. Uh, so it's a really special, unique event. And screening times and more are available online. Mm -hmm.